Welcome to how-to videos from bugspray.com. Today I wanted to go over just a few tips and tricks for trapping rats. Some of these tips will apply to some other rodents like squirrels, flying squirrels, gray squirrels, mice, but specifically today I want to address rats. They tend to be some of the harder rodents to catch and the reason they're hard to catch is they're neophobic. And what neophobia means is they're afraid of new objects. So we have to overcome that fear of new objects in order to catch them. And there's a few things that uh, we found work really well to do that. The first thing is pre-baiting. Uh, don't rush to set your traps. Uh, a lot of people will put traps out the first night and they'll expect to catch something that night. You're much better off putting out some bait uh, if, if you're waiting to get your traps put out some bait and let them feed and just get them feeding in the same location and then when you have your traps set your traps up and even then I would still set your traps without actually setting them so like with the snap traps you can just set them out like this with just the food on them get the rats used to going back and forth and feeding off these live traps you just uh, fasten them open put the food in the front trail some in put a big load in the back that's how you do it with the live trap the uh, rat zapper just don't turn it on. Just uh, put some food out front, trail some in, and uh, allow them to go in and out of the trap. Uh, one of the hardest things to do pre-baiting wise is glue traps. You really can't pre-bait these. And for that reason, it's not my first thing to use. There's, there's a few cases where using glue traps uh, is useful. Um, for example, with this one, you've got a paper back on it. I can trim this out and slide it right up to say a pipe entry point that they might be coming out of. Uh, if they come out of a pipe entry point and land right on a glue board, there's a good chance you're going to catch them. And for that reason, there are some uses for glue boards. It's not my favorite, uh, favorite choice. Make sure that when you're baiting your traps, you're using the correct bait. And what I mean by that, a lot of times people get their rat trap, the first thing they think of is what they saw in the cartoons, cheese. Rats don't really eat cheese. That's kind of a you know, wives tale, I guess. I mean, they will probably eat it in the absence of just about anything else, but they eat a lot of other things that are just more common around the house. Most of the time when people have rats, they have domestic pets. So you're gonna have uh, dog food around the house, you're gonna have cat food around the house, you're gonna have bird feeders, bird seed. All of those kinds of things are gonna be better for trapping than, say, cheese. Uh, another one that a lot of people like to use is peanut butter. Peanut butter is okay, it's not really the best. Uh, if you're going to go with a paste type bait, I definitely recommend using one of the baits that's been tested and used for years. Uh, pecan paste, uh, made by Trapper's Choice, uh, it's used by a lot of professional trappers. Another one that's really good is the Loganberry paste. Both of these products are going to be ten times more effective than using peanut butter. Uh, they don't dry out as quick. There's oils in them that keep them uh, aromatic and uh, work much better than using peanut butter. Let's see. Some of the other things that uh, I want to point out. Because rats learn really quickly to avoid things that hurt them, it's a good idea that if you're going to use a snap trap or uh, a kill type trap that you put out more than one. I, I get this all the time. Cause I, don't, I can't catch this rat. I've had that trap out for a month. When they say that, I'm like, well, you had one trap out. How many have you caught? Well, I caught two, but this last one, he just won't go to it. If they put out four or five traps in the beginning, six traps, maybe even a dozen, uh, a lot of professionals won't even go into a situation without setting out a minimum of two dozen traps. So for a homeowner, you know, you're able to check them a little more frequently. Maybe you can go with a few less, but I would say really a dozen for any kind of rat problem is probably a bare minimum when you're going with snap traps. Uh, six would be like the dead bare minimum. Live traps uh, or rad zappers, you can get them to overcome the neophobia and keep going to it. With this one specifically because you're catching them alive and they're never injured, you could put out one, two, three traps and just keep catching them. I had one customer years ago that had a uh, fruit stand and she was able to catch 99 rats over a period of a year using the very same trap. Matter of fact, Live traps actually get more effective with age because the oils and the scents from the rat 
get embedded in the trap and they actually are less afraid of it over time. So rat, rat trapping uh, with live traps is very successful. The other thing I like to mention is put the rat traps where the rats are active. A lot of times people have rat problems in their attic for instance and the only place they have a flat space is right when they walk up uh, their stairway and they have a flat space maybe for the furnace or something and they'll set the traps there. Rats will travel to get to the food and if you do enough pre-baiting uh, it's possible to get them drawn to that area and catching them but if you know they're coming in right at the eave you'll find that setting the trap out near the eave is going to be a little bit more successful. One of the things you want to do though is you want to fasten the trap down. You don't want to just lay it out there on a you know wobbly board or something like that. So with uh, you know wooden traps you can drill a hole into them and screw them in place. These already come with holes made specifically for that purpose. Uh, live traps, uh, generally you can find a flat surface and bridge it. Um, I like to put them on a, on a board and then, and then put them in the place that you want them uh, because then the food doesn't fall through the trap. Uh, another thing that you can do with the wooden traps is you can use the Hercules putty and we have that on our site. Hercules putty is a really tacky material and if you put it on there and you put it on a surface let's say like this was the board you wanted to put it on it's going to be almost impossible to pull pull it off you know certainly a rat's not going to have the strength to pull that away and if you put a couple of spots on there you, know, you don't even have to use that big a piece you put just four of these on a trap and these two traps are going to be very difficult to get apart. So it's very, very hard to pull apart. So that's a, a good way of keeping your traps in, in the place that you put them. Uh, I don't know how many times a, a snap trap has been dragged off by a rat because it wasn't fastened down. Uh, and that's just about as bad as baiting for rats, which is probably my least favorite way of dealing with them, uh, with a few exceptions. Again, there's always a place for whatever it is you're doing, but if you follow some of these tips, pre-bait, the longer you pre-bait, the easier it is to trap them once you finally start setting your traps. Put out plenty of traps if you're going with snap traps. Don't onesie-twosie it. You're going to set yourself up for failure. Live traps are very successful. Very easy to trap more than one. The rat zappers, very clean, very easy kill. Uh, you know, you just dump them in the garbage. Glue boards, again, there's a place. You know, if they're running on ductwork and you want to fasten it to the ductwork, uh, that's a good location for it. Maybe around a pipe entry point where they're coming out. But you can't pre bait a glue board, so it's, it's tough to get them accustomed to it. Uh, that's probably about all you need to know to get started. If you have any other questions, be you know, feel free to call us. Our number is 800-877-7290. We're here from 8 till 7, Monday through Thursday, 8.30 to 5 on Friday, and on Saturdays from 9 to 1, and we'd be glad to answer your questions and help you with any of your rat control needs. Thank you for watching this how-to video from Bugspray.com.